If your resume isn't landing interviews, AI can help, but most people use it wrong and actually hurt their chances in the process. I've reviewed over a thousand resumes and hired for multiple teams in my career. Let me show you the right way to use AI so you can make your resume stronger, applicant tracking system friendly, and tailored to the job that you're applying for without it looking AI generated. Let's jump in. Step zero, if you haven't yet, be sure to write the first draft of your resume yourself. Most people make the mistake of giving AI a job description and saying, write a resume for me based on this job description. Your resume should reflect your actual work experience. If it doesn't, you may get the interview, but you won't get the job. You can download my resume template linked in the description below and fill it out. Now I'm going to hop onto my computer and show you how to use AI to make your resume shine. Step one, start by giving AI a persona. I'm using ChatGPT, but another great alternative is Cloud AI. Assume you are an expert resume writer with 20 years of experience helping professionals get their dream job. You can get specific based on your field. If you're in tech, you can say, helping tech professionals land their dream job at Google, Amazon, and other fan companies. Now let's start enhancing your work experience with step number two. For the bullet points under your work experience, list your accomplishments, not tasks. Here's an example of a task. Worked on the chat feature. Now let's switch that to an accomplishment built a tool that automated testing of the chat feature. As a hiring manager, I want to see what your accomplishments were, not what your job responsibilities and duties were. Responsibilities are common to the role and can apply to multiple people. Accomplishments are unique to you and help me get to know you better so I can assess whether you'd be a good fit for the role or not. Let's leverage AI. You can ask, do the following bullet points sound like accomplishments or tasks? Please specify which ones sound like tasks. When I'm editing my client's resumes, I do this one job experience at a time. So in this case, I would just take bullet points from one job experience and paste that into ChatGPT after the prompt I just shared. If AI identifies any tasks, take a moment to update them. Warning, don't use AI to make up your accomplishments. AI won't know what you actually achieved. Only you know that. You can brainstorm your accomplishments, even if they sound messy, then I'll show you how to use AI to polish them into strong bullet points in the next few steps. As a hiring manager, when I was reviewing resumes, I was glad to see accomplishments listed instead of tasks. But I would usually catch myself asking, so what? Especially in the tech industry, it's easy for engineers to get caught up in the fancy technology that we're building. But how did it benefit the end user? How did it benefit the company? That's what hiring managers want to know. Which leads me to step number three showcase your results. Coming back to my earlier example, built a tool that automated testing of the chat feature. So what? Since there was automation, this tool saved a lot of manual effort. Saving time means saving money and saving money looks really good in the resume. So here I can say, built a tool that automated testing of the chat feature and achieved significant cost savings. Here's how you can use AI to help you. Can you suggest ways to add more results or outcomes to the following bullet points? and then copy paste your bullet points in here for that specific work experience. Don't blindly accept what AI gives you. It may not make sense in your case, or it may not accurately represent your work experience. Now to really make your work experience shine, add numbers, which leads me to step number four, quantify your accomplishments. Doing so makes them more impressive and more believable. But here's where I've seen most people get stuck. They're not sure how to quantify their accomplishments, but don't worry, I'll show you how. And if there's any other area where you get stuck, let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help out. Let's get back to our example and quantify it. Built a tool that automated testing of the chat feature and achieved significant cost savings. Instead of saying achieved significant cost savings, you can add up that manual time, multiply it by an average rate per hour, and give a total cost. For example, I would say achieve the cost savings of $100,000 a year. Here's how to leverage AI. How do I quantify my results in the following bullet points? And again, you would copy paste your bullet points here. And don't fake it. If you don't have exact figures, use strong estimates that you can justify in an interview. Pro tip, people take this too far and feel they need to quantify every single bullet point under their work experience. Instead, aim for at least 60% of your bullets having quantified results. If you're finding this video helpful so far, smash that like button. It will help support the channel. Let's move on to step five, update the relevant project section. I've been asked, do you need to include the relevant project section? Someone reached out to me recently asking how she could get a job in the gaming industry. Now she was coming from another field. So I suggested that in addition to building and leveraging a network, 
try to do game related projects in your spare time and post them on your website. Then mention and link out these projects under your relevant project section in your resume. So this section is not needed, but it's valuable when you don't have direct experience related to the job that you are applying for. Once you have your projects listed, you can use AI to enhance the section similar to how we did for the work experience, one work experience at a time, except in this case, one project at a time. For each project, make sure you list your accomplishments and quantify your results. Here's an example. Built a motivational quotes app using Flutterflow and Supabase, surpassing 1,000 downloads on the Google Play Store. So I shared my accomplishment and quantified my result. Hey, step six, grab attention with a strong objective or professional summary at the top of your resume. What's the difference between these two? An objective is usually applicable to new grads or someone with less than two years of experience. It highlights your education and states your career goals. A professional summary is for someone with more than two years of experience, highlights your past professional experience, and it showcases your expertise, experience, and the key achievements of your career. Here's how you can ask AI to create your objective statement. Can you help me write an objective statement for my resume? Here are my top three achievements in college, A, B, C. For my career goal, I want to achieve X. Here's my example. Can you help me write an objective statement for my resume? Here are my top three achievements in college. High GPA, chaired a conference, was an orientation leader for new college students. For my career goal, I want to build my leadership skills while contributing to games that delight players. Here's what it gave me. Motivated and high achieving graduate with a strong academic record, leadership experience as a conference chair, and a passion for mentoring demonstrated as an orientation leader for new students, seeking an opportunity to grow my leadership skills while contributing to the development of engaging player-focused games. I like to keep it under three lines. So I asked AI, can you make it more succinct and impactful so it's under three lines? And it gave me high achieving graduate with leadership experience as a conference chair and orientation leader, eager to grow as a leader while creating games that delight players. That's pretty good, but I kind of like the first one. So here's how I would condense it to three lines. Motivated and high achieving graduate with a strong academic record, leadership experience as a conference chair and an orientation leader for new students, seeking an opportunity to grow my leadership skills while contributing to the development of engaging player focused games. And here's how you can ask AI to create your professional summary. This one's a little bit easier. You can say, based on the work experience that I'm about to share, can you create a professional summary for my resume that's no more than three lines? Here's my work experience. If AI gives you something that's too wordy, you can ask it, can you make this professional summary more succinct and impactful? Now that we have grabbed their attention, there are still two critical steps to help you stand apart and land the interview. These are steps seven and eight. Step seven, tailor your resume to the job that you are applying for. For your resume to reach the hiring manager, you must beat the ATS or the applicant tracking system. An applicant tracking system is a software application used by many companies to manage and streamline their entire recruiting and hiring process. To beat the ATS, you must include the relevant keywords that are in the job description. The ATS may filter out your resume if it doesn't include these relevant keywords. So how do you do this with AI? Copy the job description you're applying for and ask AI, based on the following job description that I'm about to share, list the top 20 keywords that I should include in my resume to prove that I'm the best candidate for this role. Here's the job description and then paste the job description here. Then edit your resume to strategically include the keywords that reflect your actual work experience. Your resume still needs to sound natural and be easily readable by the hiring manager and the recruiter. Note, you don't need to include all the 20 keywords that AI gives you. I would suggest including at least 60% of them. Again, only if you actually have that work experience and can talk about it in an interview. If not, it may be wise to apply to another job. Here's a pro tip. If they're requiring some certification that you don't have, get started on that certification, and then you can include it under the education section of your resume and put in progress in parentheses. Step eight, the final check. For the final check before submitting your resume, you can ask AI, based on the job description that I shared above and my updated resume that I'm about to share, does my resume effectively prove that I can do this job well? If not, please list out what you see missing and any suggestions you may have. Here's my resume. Use the feedback you received to make any final adjustments. You may need to reuse some of the prompts I shared earlier. If you follow the steps I shared in this video, your resume will not look AI generated. That's because you may use AI as a brainstorm buddy or as an editor, but you're the author. 
the content is coming from you. And we're using AI to present your real life work experience in the best possible light without fabricating anything. Since this video focused specifically on enhancing your resume with AI, I didn't cover all the common mistakes that I've seen over my 10 years as a hiring manager. Check out this video next to make sure that you're not making these critical errors. I wish you the very best. You got this.